left. And with that, Clara, it is my honor to introduce the Congresswoman from uh, the great state of New Mexico, the land of enchantment, uh, representing uh, Albuquerque. I remember when she called me a few years ago to say that she was thinking about running for the Congress. And we had a conversation about the fact that in those days, we didn't have a single Democrat who was uh, elected to the United States House of Representatives. And it's so important to have that voice because it's a voice of progress. It's a voice that gives attention to Indian country. Congresswoman Deb Helland, we love you. I'm here to support you all the way. As much as I'm supporting Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, I'm supporting you too. So let me turn <laughs> it over to you. Thank you, Deb. Thank, thank you, Secretary Salazar. And yes, I know some people, you know, they forget that, yes, we're running for re-election uh, in the midst of all of this. So we have our own campaigns to worry about. And Secretary Salazar is being so kind. I actually bugged him. Uh, yeah, I called him, but I kept calling him too. So, uh, so I appreciate his commitment to, uh, mentor, you know, to mentorship and to making sure that he's there for, uh, for folks who, who are ready to, you know, step up and, and run and win. So thank you, Secretary Salazar, for everything you've done, uh, for our country. I'm so excited to be here with all of you, uh, excited to be on this panel, Governor Lewis. Uh, I will probably be seeing a lot of each other this week, and I look forward to that every time. Um, Ambassador Harper, Ryan, uh, Cherise, Paulette, uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, I love being with all of you and, and appreciate, um, uh, see, seeing you so much this week. Um, and, and then, of course, Clara Pratt, who is working um, extremely hard to make sure uh, that not just this event, but every single event that I've attended um, is professional and, and runs on time and is great. So I thank you for all your hard work, Clara. I know you're working hard. Um, proud of everything that you're doing uh, and proud of, all, of, of everybody for how much they do for Indian country. Um, it's a labor of love. Uh, you know, I started out in Indian, in politics because I just wanted more Indians to vote. That was my, uh, I mean, I just felt like we had an opportunity to have a say in who our, uh, leaders were, who our elected leaders were. And, um, and so I know that, um, we have it in us. I just looked at the attendee list and I see a lot of, leaders in our tribal communities in that list. You know who you are. And so I'm glad you're here and I want you to keep stepping up until uh, we make sure that Joe Biden is elected as our next president. Um, so these past few months, of course, they, they've been tough on everybody. Uh, this deadly pandemic has claimed the lives of over 160,000 Americans. Um, one of my dear, dear friends on the Navajo Nation has lost three of his family members um, just in quick succession. Uh, and I know that, um, that, yes, that's sad. And we're not, you know, this, we're, as a country, we're not taking the time to, to grieve. And I just want you all to know that, um, that I send my deepest condolences to everyone who has lost somebody to this pandemic. Um, of course, uh, no. following that, an economic collapse has decimated the livelihoods of millions and a moral vacuum has left our country reeling from the effects of systemic racism. And sadly, as, as it is, is too often true in American crises, uh, we in Indian country have been among the hardest hit. Um, Native Americans died at a rate twice of that of white Americans. Native-owned businesses have struggled to access the financial support that was supposed to be available to everyone. And Native Americans have continued to face <clears throat> the bigoted beliefs and policies uh, that they've been confronting since, uh, well, the late 1400s, probably. Um, Sharice and I have fought hard in Congress to bring relief for Indian country. Um, you know, this is relief that they need. Uh, it's, it's not a handout. It's a, it's a trust responsibility by the U.S. government. And, you know, when we were fighting for that first tranche of funds for Indian country, uh, you know, President Trump, he acts like it's his own money. He does, he wants to give Indian country a big fat zero. Uh, but we stayed on him. 
uh, the, the problem was that they didn't then dis- disseminate the funding properly. So we're, we have work to do. We're going to keep doing it. <clears throat> we want to make sure that Indian country uh, has what they need um, to vote, quite frankly. Um, we have incredible power and opportunity in this election. Our votes are critical to ensuring that we get Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to the White House. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, I saw on the list, I know who you are, you know who you are. It's time to really step up. Um, I implore each one of you to exercise your right to vote because look, uh, that was a hard, hard fought um, when in and of itself, um, we have, uh, you know, we have to think about our ancestors, the folks who came before us, who didn't have a right to vote and fought for that. Uh, you know, our predecessors who fought for, for fishing rights and land rights and water rights and all of these things, um, those things didn't come easy. And we have an obligation to make sure that we continue the voice of our ancestors to make sure that we can uh, move our country into a space where Indian country um, is met with an administration that respects the trust responsibility, that acknowledges uh, that we have a missing and murdered Indigenous women crisis, that acknowledges that uh, we have sacred sites that we want to protect. Uh, and that's why I have uh, wholeheartedly embraced uh, this campaign I'm doing everything I can to make sure that Joe Biden wins. I'm on his climate, um, I, I'm on his climate advisory council because we want to make sure that uh, climate voters are voting for Joe Biden. I was on the platform drafting committee uh, because I wanted to make sure that Indian country was represented. And, um, and of course, I am ready to do anything that Clara uh, asked me to do. Uh, because this is an important election. I know that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will continue to work to empower Indian country. Um, and I want you to join me, every single person who's watching this right now, join me and text TRIBE, T-R-I-B-E, to 30330 to join this cause and get involved. We need you. We need Indian country to step up in the biggest way ever. And I'm super proud to be here. And I thank you all. I just noticed our our fearless DNC chair, uh, Tom Perez, get on this call. Chairman, it's an honor to see you, and uh, and thank you for your leadership. It's it's been um, incredible, and and I'm I'm so happy to support you. Thank you, Clara.